Hey nerdy ghouls, welcome back to our spooky oasis where we celebrate the magic of Halloween and spooky pop culture every day. As you know, the 4th of July marks the official start of the spooky season within the spooky community. So I thought we would kick off Summerween in style with a jack-o'-melon carving. If you're not familiar with it, Gravity Falls created this Summerween special where they carved a watermelon into a jack-o'-lantern and it became a thing ever since it's a thing you know uh so i figured we'd carve a jack-o'-melon and then i would make a summerween themed treat out of the watermelon so i'm really excited about it let's grave dig into it hey nerdy goals uh we're gonna carve a summerween pumpkin today usually in the past i would cut the top of the pumpkin like this and then like scoop out everything, but I think we're gonna do it gravity fall style and do it sideways. So I'm gonna cut this way. I'm gonna draw the face first before I do that, so I'll mess up later. Here we go. Um, there's like a natural line right here, so I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go this. Of course, it's very rough. Go down this way. And then we have this guy. And then halfway yeah, through, like that. And like that. You must be a pro at carving pumpkins. I've been doing it all my life. Like that. What do you think of that? I think so. Okay, and then we're gonna also do the mouth. So we're gonna do one tooth. And then another one right here. Okay, you gonna work? Yes. Smells good. I know first watermelon of the season. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like you're shaving his head off. <laughs> Feels like it. I'm going to make a little line with the marker so I know how to connect it. Bust out my tools. Hello. Look at that. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brains. Yum. I'm so excited. All right, now it's time to scoop. I'm going to use this guy, but I'm going to. Rinse real quick. I haven't used it since Halloween. So before you start um, scooping out all the guts from the watermelon, um, you want to leave enough um, watermelon to dice it up to have cubes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down like this across and across this way to make the cubes. And then when I scoop them out, they'll come out as little cubes. Why are we making cubes, Blue? Because you're making a dessert. Okay. You want them big or small? Um, small if possible. Okay. I cannot express how excited I am for watermelon. Voila. Ooh. So I'm gonna, I think we have enough for the dessert, you think? Yeah. So I'm gonna just get the rest of it out because it's not gonna be cute, it's gonna be like in chunks then she's gonna use that. Yeah, so depending on if maybe you're making this for a party, I would recommend doing the whole thing. But if it's just for like two of you, like us, this is more than enough for what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. 
This tool is making it way easier. You know what would be cool too? Mm. If you like did this and mm. then use like a bag to turn the Dr. Melon into like a party bowl, like a punch bowl. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do that and then you can get like a little spout mm -hmm. and then put it into it and then put whatever you want in it. Yeah. Almost done. Almost done. I like using the uh, ice cream scoop because it can scoop easier and doesn't get as messy as like this. Mm -hmm. And then if it gets stuck, you have a little whatever that thing is to pop it off. <laughs> that is impressive. There's like no watermelon left. I was laughing at him because I was like, dang, you want to get every single piece? And he's like, well, yeah. What did you say? For the tahine? Yep. Hello. Here we Woo. go. Now I just need to cut the eyeballs out. I'm gonna probably use this guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna make little holes to help me cut. I usually do this with the pumpkin too. Why do you like carving taco when I'm doing school? Remind me of my childhood and you. Cause we did it so much in quarantine. Yeah. I think the first time I ever carved a pumpkin was with you. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that year that we watched Freddy vs. Jason. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Excuse my plate over there, guys. <laughs> I was having a quick little turkey dog because we were hungry. <laughs> Look at that happy smile. Now just a nose in the eyes. Hello. Okay, so we're using nail polish remover to kind of clean off the lines he drew on with the Sharpie. And this is safe since we're not going to be eating <laughs> this part of the watermelon. Yes, do not eat your watermelon or anything if you use a nail polish remover on it. <laughs> Hello, he looks so happy. Okay, it's my turn. Okay, so you guys ready for the quickest, easiest thing ever? I bought these pre-made um, lime jello cups. You could make your own too if you want, but like I said, this is meant to be super easy and quick. So you just dump it in. I almost feel like it could use two. What do you think? Should we do two or one? I think two is good. Okay, let's do two. That would just be like a little sampler. So I'm just gonna kind of try to get this um, to go down a little so we could make it a layer. A layer. Good enough. I guess we're just gonna make one then. I have more jello, but Mr. Spooks will be the guinea pig. Whipped cream, shake it up. You could also do like the one in a bucket, but I think this is easier for this purpose. And then you just layer it. Like that. Oh, it needs more right here. And then you top it with the watermelon, um, the diced watermelon that we had mentioned. And oops. And then 
then you have your candy corn summer ween tree. Isn't it cute? Like, that's what I thought. Sorry, I'm trying to see which side is prettiest. I thought it would be a cute little, like, candy corn, but summer ween colors, you know? And then you add your spooky spoon to it. And I'm gonna switch so Mr. Spooks can taste it. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do you think so far how it looks? It looks really cool. It looks very spooky. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I want to taste it. <laughs> it's really good. Let's see. I'm gonna transfer you over. I want to get some with like everything in it. Got jello. Mmm! I think I'm gonna need to go make my own <laughs> or keep this one. Okay, that treat seriously did not disappoint. I don't know what I expected, but all the flavors worked so well together. Super refreshing, low calorie, guilt-free, honestly. So I hope that you guys try it out. Let me know in the comments down below if you're planning to carve a jack o melon this summer and what treat you're gonna make with it. Hopefully it's mine. But if not, I'm open to more ideas. And I also wanted to say thank you so much to all of our new subscribers. We recently hit 4,800, which is super exciting. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button so you can help us get to 5,000. Until next time, sending you goals and kisses. Bye.